Hi YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back once again to our daily hacking news series. If you want, you can hit the like button and uh, subscribe button as well. It will work as a sort out for us. Now let's get right into the video. So first news related to Iranian hackers. So I, recently a state sponsored APT threat actors, which was newly uh, said as uh, APT42 or Christian APT42. And recently it was known as UNC788. So they has been attributed to over 30 confirmed espionage attack against individuals and organization of strategic interest to the Iranian government at least since 2015. So cybersecurity firm Mandiant said the group operates as the intelligence gathering arm of Iranian Islamic Re Revolution Guard Corps which is called as IRGC which is not to mention said uh, partial overlap with another cluster called AP35 and which is also known as Charming Kitten, Cobalt Illusion, ITG-18, Phosphorus, uh, TA-453 and Yellow Garuda. So I guess uh, recently we have covered for the APT-35 as well. What is APT-35? How you can detect the modus operandi, the tar organization that they are targeting, the reason that they are mostly uh, targeting. So you can check all those things as well. And also it was said that uh, APT-42 has exhibited a provisionity to strike various industries such as non-profit, education, government, healthcare, legal, manufacturing, media and pharmaceuticals which were spanning at least 14 countries including in Australia, Europe and Middle East and uh, the US. So this is a thing which was uh, related to APT42 and uh, this is how basically the uh, Iranian government is taking around the things that uh, they are getting afraid of. Okay, so basically if you talk about any APT group which is called Advanced Persistent Threat. Uh, so US is having a, uh, not US, uh, China is having a lot of uh, APT group, North Korea is having Iranian, is having, almost every country is having. But the most highlighted APT groups are coming from North uh, Korea, China and Iran. Okay, so these are mostly spreading all over the world and uh, CISA and uh, some organization from US, from all over the country, they are just coming up with some sort of things that the people should understand how the working and all those things is getting around. Them. So be safe from all those things and uh, just secure yourself. Now next news is related to one of the US recent sanctions. So the US Treasury Department on fr uh, Friday announced sex sanctions against Iran Ministry of Intelligence and Security which is called MOIS and also on its Minister of Intelligence Ismail Khatab for engaging in cyber enable activity against the nation and its allies. So since at least 2007, the MOIS, which is called MYS, and its cyber actors, proxies have conducted malicious cyber operations targeting a range of government and private sector organization around the world and across various critical information sectors. So this was said by the, basically the US Treasury Department. So uh, the agency also uh, accused Iranian state sponsored actor, uh, actors of staging disruptive attacks and aimed at Albania's government computer system in mid July 2022 which was an incident incident that forced the latter to temporary suspension of online services so this is huge i guess now next news related to apple so uh, recently the scammers live streamed on youtube an old interview with tim cook as a part of fake apple crypto event and tens of thousands of users viewed it. So cyber criminals were live streaming on YouTube and which is an old interview with uh, Tim Cook as a part of fake Apple crypto event and lots of people have watched and the interview was transmitted by the CNN which was conducted in 2018. So to uh, deceive the users, the scammers filled the title and description with the Apple keyword and also the report of Vergi said that the fake live stream was uh, getting its attention by filling its uh, description with an array of Apple keyword in both the title and description but when actually open it up it was filled with the old messages linked to the steady looking crypto site which was said Apple crypto event 2022 so this was said by the Vargi you can uh, find out on the report as well so there's a lot of scams which is going around uh, related to cryptocurrency and uh, a lot of YouTube channels are getting compromised all over the world and uh, hackers are coming up with some sort of crypto things like most probably if you have configured your wallet properly or if you are using some sort of manual approaches for your wallet then it's nearly 
impossible to track you if you are doing some sort of Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies transaction. So that's why uh, attackers are using and they're targeting the big brands or big influencers. Like and it was, uh, it was targeted of uh, Elon Musk as well, and I guess uh, PM of India account was also targeted. So there are some sort of uh, might be some issue from the server of uh, YouTube, some server of Twitter might be there maybe some sort of zero day or this is from the side of users as well like kind of uh, they are not cyber aware and uh, what anything happens so let's see if any update will be coming then we'll update you for sure now last news is related to hp so hp patches a high severity flaw in the apple support assistant which helps keep hp computer in working order by finding updates and providing troubleshooting tools so it's a software tool that comes pre-installed on all HP laptops and desktop computers, including the Oman sub-brands. So it's carried, carried out hardware, diagnostic test, dive deeper into the technical specialty, and check performance related to metrics, and the driver updated on HP devices. So you can find out this tra uh, flaw uh, with a tracking ID CV 2022-38. Uh, with a high severity code of 8.2 which is uh, very high because the last uh, severity score is 10 like 10 is the last 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 and 8.2 is there which means it's a high okay and uh, if you talk with critical then critical means uh, 9 or whatever okay so it comes under this specific H F, uh, hp flaw comes under the high uh, severity score which is 8.2 and uh, this specific Flaw leads to privilege escalation vulnerability, and the flaw was revealed by the researchers at at security. So this is huge. If you're a HP user, then might be some software update. But the first year, yes, software update will come because the flaw is uh, fl floating all over the world. So always be updated, update your device and update your brain as well. Okay, and I know you guys are very much smart and you are always updated. But sometime, yeah, if you're working in any company na or uh, anywhere, any organization then uh, sometime you are taking care of your mail id you are taking care of your social profile but a small pinch or a small pinpoint thing might strike your profile okay so always be focused and you, uh, just make sure whatever you're using is for sure secured and the links whatever you get okay just cross check for the http s uh, for the ssl uh, for the authenticity company details and all and then just click or accordingly just do all those so if you want a detailed video on this just let us know and at last thanks for watching this video and that's all for today i hope you found this video helpful if yes comment on your feedback if you want you can subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis so at last uh, thanks for watching this video have a great day and uh, just uh, comment down your location from where you come thank you jai hind